time to get into this. First things first again, like the other day, we started off. Our legs are out wide. Come on down this time. Put your hands on the legs. Twist the upper body into it from one side. Twist that other upper body to the other side. Ah. Straighten the legs out. Opposite hand to the foot. Twist into it. Raise it up. Come on back. Other side. Twist into it. Raise it up. Come on back. Tilt the leg forward. Straighten that front leg. Come down over that front leg. Put yourself down over it. Push that back leg back. You get that calf on the back too. Yeah, things are going to do like I mean, like I do, your head's not down. If it isn't, you would drop your head down. Okay, you're not right there now. Hey, crazy, why are you yelling at me? Stop yelling at me. All right. Take that front leg in. Come all the way down. Push those glutes to the mat. Move the cat if you have one in your way. Or a kid. Or a dog. Or whatever it is. Clap yourself down there. Kitty cat, please. Thank goodness I'm washing my hair after this. All right. Dropping it down. Come on, pull it back. Yes. Everybody needs a Mowgli. Yes. Come on back. Hands down. Step it back. Get into that downward dog. This helps us with the arms really big time and the back of the legs. All right, other legs forward this time. Other legs backwards. Straightening it up. Coming down over it. The back one, get that stance so we can feel that stretch in the calf too. And come down. And then my leg going. I have a lot of work to do. You still like they're way better than what they used to be, but they are still a work in progress. Definitely are. Get that stretch in there. All right, then coming on down. I'm just repositioning myself so I'm like head working so the cat's tush. Pushing those boots back and coming on down. Those glutes are really tight. Come on up. All fours. Work back out today. Push it up to cat. I'm not calling you, buddy. I'm not calling you. Really not calling you. No, I'm not calling you. How the gal. Up to cat. This is a different position because I'm not dropping my head at all. Down to cow. One more time, up to cat. Down the cow. Back to child's pose. Come on up. Get those hands. Flip them around backwards. Pull them backwards. Not too much, just a little bit. Feel that stretch come up in there. Come on. Don't hurt them, but come on, stretch them backwards. Pull your body back just a little bit. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on back. Keep those hands down. This time, pull back this way. Really pull back. We're going into puppy, but really, really emphasizing the pull in the arms. <sighs> Come on up. Take those arms. Might as well take the legs too, right? Over and over the other. 
Eat the legs or twist them. Now, this one's over. So this one's over, under. Arms are together, hold straight up. Get that stretch, come on, hold them straight up. Come on down, unwrap, rewrap, unwrap, rewrap, and pull straight up. Come to the side, pull it over. Other side. Coming up onto the knees. First, jet the back bend. Now, either stay with the gentle back bend or reach for the feet. Pull the chest up. Come on up. Now, hands together. Pull them up and fold yourself forward. Coming up, switching hands. So this one was down, that one, that one, the other hand, pulling it up and over. Coming on up, sit it down. Getting in a twist this time, leg open over, bruise, elbow on the outside, twist into <sighs> Other side, twist into it. I'm gonna revisit the stretching for the uh, form right here again. Putting your hands backwards. And pull yourself back just a little bit. It's like, what are you doing? It's kind of a whatever type one, but it, it really helps right now with all the pulls and stuff. I'm trying to stretch that out too. Like it's that side of them. Now, other side of them. Not really much. I just put my hands backwards right now. Pull back just a little. <sighs> Hands down. Pull back again really hard, far to puppy. Arms are out there. Pull, get that feeling that pull. Pull that body back. Fill it in your back, fill it in your arms. Ah, oh, come on up. All right, so I say this one was a big arm focus uh, for the stretching. Obviously some back too, because worked it out in that workout, but needed some extra stretches to the arms from all the pull-ups and stuff. Uh, you can't keep moving forward if you don't take care of yourself too, right? So this one here is a little shorter, shorter than some of the other ones I've done. But I feel like my arms feel a lot way better stretched out and stuff. For the day, if you feel the tension, just kind of go like that with your arms. And give them a little bit more of a stretch. And everything's going to keep all working through this, but this is checked off. Mm -hmm. And done.